Houston landed on a big loop, but we see no flyout required. We're ready to initiate final approach. Houston copies that. Uh, great news. Uh, we're ready for you to press on in. Uh, just FYI, we may have a uh, brief handover on the shuttle side about a minute prior to contact and the ISS side just after, but uh, either way, you should have a good big loop the whole time. Atlantis copies. Thanks. And also expect sunrise about five to six minutes after docking. Copy sunrise five to six minutes after docking. Thank you. Alpha Houston Space Ground 2, did you copy initiating final approach 30 feet? Yes, we copy. Thanks. Mission Control Houston, the view from the International Space Station is Space Shuttle Atlantis closing in, now about 25 feet out, being uh, slowly maneuvered in towards the uh, docking location. For the first time, a space shuttle will be docking to the pressurized mating adapter, now at the end of the Harmony module, the newest addition to the International Space Station, soon to be joined by the Columbus Laboratory, which is shown here in the upper more, uppermost portion of the view. It's in the aft portion of the payload bay and will be added to the International Space Station for its new home in space. The rendezvous officer here in the shuttle flight control room estimating we're about 4 minutes 20 seconds from the docking to the orbiting complex. This is a view of the shuttle docking mechanism, and extending from the top portion of your screen is the space station robotic arm, which will be used uh, during the operations to relocate the uh, Columbus from the space shuttle. This is a live view as the space shuttle now about 14 feet away. Coming into view on the right-hand side, the pressurized mating adapter and the Harmony module, the most forward part of the U.S. segment of the International Space Station.
flight control team here reporting. They're 10 feet out with a good closure rate. Commander Steve Frick, uh, somewhat of view through the windows of the aft deck, aft flight deck, where he's uh, using the controllers to maneuver the vehicle in. Seven feet out, the vehicle closing in at one tenth of a foot per second, or one minute from the estimated docking. And the flight control team confirming contact between the two vehicles, docking at 11.17 a.m. Central Time off the southwest coast of Australia. Atlantis Alpha, Houston, station free drift confirmed. And that was the voice of Flight Engineer Dan Tani of the Expedition 16 crew uh, declaring the arrival of Space Shuttle Atlantis now docked to the International Space Station. Also ringing of the bells on the International Space Station to mark the arrival of the new vehicle, bringing with it seven visitors and uh, the Columbus Laboratory to be added to the International Space Station. The onboard crews will now... Uh, Continue with the latching of the two vehicles. Once the latching is confirmed, they'll then commence with leak checks. Those are estimated to take about an hour before they can be opened and the uh, two crews can be united. Now switching to sequential still video from Spatial Atlantis, a look at the uh, mechanism where the two vehicles have docked, the uh, orbiter docking system from the space shuttle at the lower portion and the pressurized mating adapter to the International Space Station in the upper portion of your view. They'll continue with the uh, capture of the two spacecraft, but all of the uh, docking activities going very smoothly confirmed at 11.17 a.m. Central Time, just off the southwestern coast of Australia.